Hey there guys, it's Heartless again here, we're playing some more Dark Cloud 2. Um, so last time we left off, I got to the very end of this dungeon, defeated the final boss, and uh, took a picture of him to get the scoop that we needed for Donnie. I just finished turning in that picture, so the last thing we have to do before we depart onto the next part of the story is to get the very last scoop in this dungeon. Which is called Baron's Hanging On. Get a shot of Baron Balloon being flipped over by a vanguard during a trample attack. So, I'm sure there are plenty of people who were confused by this one, as I was as well, back, back when I first did it. So, we've been seeing enemies so far. that have been the robot guys, and we've also seen the actual Baron Balloon guys, and it's really easy to mistake the Baron Balloon single, like the regular enemy, for the one that you're supposed to actually take a picture of, and I'm just going to show you real quick that the one you're supposed to take a picture of is the robot vanguard. It has a Baron Balloon piloting it, and that's what you're supposed to take a picture of when it's upside down doing its attack. So, uh, yeah, that always confused me as well in the past, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick fast forward to whenever I find one of the Robo guys, and I will see you as soon as I do, if it's not too short from now. Alright, well, it didn't take long at all, so no point in cutting that out. Gonna get rid of the Night Stalker, so this is easy, so I don't need fucking artillery fire hitting me while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> Sorry about the cut there, I had to sneeze. Alright. Now that he's out of the way, grab up all those XP's real quick. And so what you're supposed to do is wait for him to do not that attack. Gosh, I hate this guy. He does piercing damage, and it is not good. It's not that attack. Only he would do it. It's that attack. Which is going to be a pain and a lot of bread to uh, capture without dying to. Damn it. Well, this is going to take a while. And there it was! That was actually a lot faster than the last time I got this, so that's all we needed to do. Wait for him to do that attack and snap a picture of him while he's upside down on the robot. And bam. Simple as that. I'll meet you back at Donnie where I turn in the scoop and then we will continue on with the story. So give me just a minute. Well, that took a lot longer than I had hoped it would because, of course, the very last enemy that I kill, which is behind one of those channel key doors, had to have the key, but, you know, whatever, I guess it's extra XP's. So now let's go turn this into Donnie, make sure that there are no more that I need to get before we move on, and then we will continue to the next, oops, wrong button, to the next part of the game. Alright, let's see. Scoops. Let's go down through here. Alright, those two we can't do yet anyway because they are in the next area. Fruit of Eden. Cool. Um, 
I'm not sure what triggers that. I don't know if it's killing the final boss that did that, that gave me the little chest there, that gave me the Fruit of Eden, or if maybe it was the uh, scoops. But I got it. And if I recall, there's one in front of Cedric's shop as well. So, whenever you do certain things in the story, it unlocks those little boxes. And here's another one. Those little boxes appear all over the place. Um, usually they're within like a set area, so they're not too hard to find, but... Anyway, I think that's all that we get right now. But they, they, they happen after, they, they appear after you've done like certain story things or, you know, whatever, something triggers it. And the boxes appear and you get these cool items that increase the defense and HP of your characters. And that's how you actually make your characters more survivable, is by feeding them these fruits and potato pies and witch parfaits and there's a bunch of items, but yeah. That basically, instead of leveling up your character, you grab those items after doing certain things, and yeah, that's it. Alright, now that we're done here in Palm Brinks for the time being, we're going to go back into the Underground Channel. Going to move on to the next bit and let you see what happens in this story. Because here's where things get pretty exciting. At least in comparison to all the stuff that's happened so far, it's exciting. No. Never seen sunlight before. Sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't be fun to like that. I love this game and the story's pretty good. The outside world. It's exactly as I expected it would be. Spouts spewing water all over the place and train tracks. It's like a dream. Yep. So... Now what? I mean, we have these train tracks. I guess it's time to start walking. That was the first time I had seen it. The sky that reached so far away, so far above, the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. So poetic. But I was yet to realize that great changes were happening in the world. Choo choo, mother fudger. Yeah. Just in time for us to get out of the channel, even though we wasted all that extra time. Cedric, what are you doing here? <laughs> what you think? You surprised? The Blackstone Railroad's back and ready for action. We're gonna see the world on this baby. Max, we got quite an adventure ahead of us. Hop on so we can hit the road. Yay, adventure! <laughs> Excuse my sniffles. I can't help it sometimes. The allergies are really bad right now. Soon we get to meet our next party member. All right, listen up, Max. This is what I found out from Need. His story was pretty far fetched. It was 15 years ago. Something terrible happened in the world. What exactly happened? You don't need this letter to tell you that, do you, Mother? Listening to Cedric's story, at first I was surprised, but as I listened, I slowly started to understand exactly what it was that was happening around me. 
15 years ago, the world was laid to waste, and all that remained was the town of Palm Brinks. Our enemy, the one who destroyed everything, was a mysterious ruler. His name? Emperor Griffin. We still don't know why he did this, why he destroyed our world. The reason that he did not also destroy Palm Brinks was because of a stone he believed was hidden in our town. Yes, the stone I'm wearing right now. Oh, wow. Griffin's henchman, Flotsam, threatened the mayor and made him search for the stone. And that's why, when he found out that I had it, he wanted to catch me so badly. The world laid to waste, the elusive overlord Emperor Griffin, and the strange stone that everyone seemed to want. With this mysterious puzzle, my adventure began. What the? It came from outside! Max, that ladder well, Here's where things to start to get a little bit crazy. Go check it out. Gotcha. Now, it's not too difficult what I have to do here, but I still might screw up, and I would, I would rather not have to redo all the stuff I just did. So let's go ahead and make a save and head on up. I bet you can guess who's making trouble outside. Oh man, wouldn't you guess? Wouldn't you know? Mr. Clown himself with a fucking machine again. gun on the back of a little car. Max! If we don't do something fast, we're in serious trouble. Time to fight back, son! Sounds like a good idea, but how? Oh. Here, use this. So I throw this? Bomb brand bombs. Yep. You toss it, and I'll grab another one. Just keep tossing them. I'm not so sure if this. Ain't got no choice, boy. All right, I'll do it. Time to show him who's boss. Fucking the face he made when he turned and looked at the camera was ridiculous. So literally what you do, I'm going to wait for him to jump, because he's going to... Oh, he's not going to jump. He's got to throw the bomb down and try to angle it right so that it goes far enough over that it hits him. See like he's on the outside this time? Bam, throw it further out. This is super easy, though just in case I didn't want to uh, lose all that progress. He's on the outside again, so... Bam. Done. That simple. And now for a really epic cutscene that I really love. <laughs> it's on fire! Do something, you worthless lump! Not this part. This is kind of like, but you know. Why, yay, Yoda! Mr. Kamikaze, he really is fucking crazy. What? another one of those bombs at me. I would love to. Do it. Whatever will we do? We can't blow him up or we'll but get blown up as well. What the hell? Another little brat? Oh, I see. So you want to die too? Hmm? Sure, why not? Let's go, punk. It's time to burn. It's time to burn. But wait. What's this? The child is evolving. Don't press B. And it's a pretty lady. Surprise. Huh? 
I always found this scene to be really badass when I was younger. I mean, it's still pretty badass. And that's the last we'll be seeing of that clown. So that was how I met Monica. Probably. Even though it was the first time we'd met, I felt like I'd known her for a long time. Eventually, in the middle of the forest, the train couldn't go any further. Do, 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 do. New party member. And technically the only other party member that we'll be getting through the rest of the game. Technically. Stopped by a rock. To move that one. That's fine with me. I've got things to do here. I got this things to do here. Sindane. But it's different than in my time. Monica came from the future. She came to this time to do something very important. That's what she told me. She's not lying. Normally, you wouldn't believe time travel was possible. It's crazy, but this was only the beginning of our unbelievable adventure. The real surprises were still. I wonder how many more times he's going to say that. If we could restore the Great Elder's origin point, he could tell us who Griffin really is. The origin point? Oh no. Yes, an origin point is where something begins. Like a flower. Surprise. You first have to plant the seed in the soil. Who would have thought origin meant beginning? In that case, the action of planting the seed is the origin point of the flower. In that way, the flower is the history that springs from the origin point. In the same way, all things that happen in the future have their origin point in the past. But if that origin point is changed, the results can be terrible. And that's what Griffin has done. Griffin has sent his henchmen to this time, altering the origin points of my time. And now he is rewriting history as he sees fit. In my time, this forest was where the Elder of the Spirit, Jurak, lived. He was very wise and powerful. His great power purified the forest and gave vitality to all the living things in it. But Griffin erased Jurak from existence. And not only Jurak, all those with the power to challenge Griffin are being erased from existence too. I don't think he'll stop think until he's wiped them. out the entire world. So, someone has to stop him. Even now, my comrades are fighting Griffin in the future. And Max, I need you to help us. Huh? Me? Yes, you have to. Uh... Okay, I'll do it. All right, I knew you would. Guess we're a team now, right? Oh my god, a girl! Woo. And with that, when she touched my Monica hand. joined my adventure. An adventure to take back the true past. The true history that had been stolen by Emperor Griffin. Yep. Chapter 2. Resurrection of the There's a little bit more Elder. story that we need to uh, go through. Before I continue on to the next... Before I uh, we'll continue on to the next, I mean, before I uh, end Let's this episode. Let's Max, you go on without me. I'll just stay here and work on getting. I don't want to have like again. two full episodes of nothing help. but like, cutscenes, which would be pretty lame. So I'm hey, just gonna Max, finish up the cutscenes in this episode, and this we will boulder. continue playing next time. Bring back anything good you find in the forest. Make sure you let us know if you need a hand. Okay, take care of yourself, Max. 
And you do, little girly pie. Girly pie. You bet. Okay, let's go. All right. You can now use the train. Yay! 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 Okay. All that stuff will be explained by me later. I'm not gonna watch any more tutorials. What's that? It's a house all by itself. That's <coughs> weird. Excuse me. Let's check it out. Yeah. Someone's there. Wow. Ah. What is it? What do you two want? Hey, you're from the Furbit tribe of Sindane, aren't you? It's so cute, all curly and everything. Hey! Hey! That's right. There's something I want to ask you, okay? You... you... this is how you ask a favor? Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. Oh! That was pretty ruthless, oh, Marco. Oh. Have you heard of a being here named Jurak? Obviously, he's gonna be pissed off after what you just did. I wonder why he got so mad. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. My God. So clueless. All right, come on, more cutscenes. Nobody's home. Yeah, I nobody. Hear the are crazy about grape juice. And we brought all this grape juice too. Now what are we gonna do? If he won't let us in, I guess we'll just have to throw it away. Come in. Come in. <laughs> hey, it worked. Ah, <laughs> oh, So silly. Gonna get drunk off the well, grape, the, the grape juice, Dream. the grape juice even. What? Oh, you want the grape juice, huh? Well, it'll cost ya. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I've heard Monica, you first have savage a mysterious TV. magical power to make things like houses and plants. What are you getting at? I want you to use that power to help us. Help you? You probably know there's something strange going on. The whole world has become like one big deserted island. Everything's disappeared. At this rate, there won't be anything left in the future. I want you to use your building power to rebuild a town in this time. No way! It's too much work! Besides, we got no time for that, so just run along now, will ya? What do you mean you don't what have time What could you three possibly be doing? <laughs> Even if I told you, it wouldn't change a thing. Hold on, Rococo. Try me. <gasps> okay, you two, I think I understand. Come on over here and have a seat. Obviously, he's the boss man. The name's Connor. He's got a backpack with a bunch of scrolls in it. This here's Rococo. And this is Tobo. Pleased to meet you. So, who might you tube? I'm Monica. I'm Max. Nice to meet you. You know there's something wrong with the world, right? A great darkness is trying to distort the flow of time. Hmm. I was beginning to wonder about what was happening to our forest. Of course, I'd like to help out, but... To be honest, we're in a bit of a fix ourselves. Even if we wanted to, we can't help you till we solve our own problems. What's wrong? Tell us about it. I wonder it. who's gonna have to help them solve that problem. It's a long story, but... It must have been about a year ago or so. 
But I hear One day so a beautiful woman got lost. A beautiful and woman in. got lost and wandered. We don't like in. humans too much, so we approached her carefully. Humans are crafty, cunning creatures. That's how we've always thought of you. But this well, woman was wrong. different, she was. Her soul was more beautiful than words can describe. Said her name was Holly. I had a feeling that wasn't her real name, but that didn't matter a bit. During the few days and weeks she was with us, she wove a sort of spell over us all. She had us in the po Then, one day after the broom, hmm, something maybe happened. Maybe she's a witch. Holly left to search for food and just disappeared into the forest, never to return. A few days went by and still no Holly. We were so sad. It was like our hearts had been broken into a... There was no way we could go on without her. In those few... So we formed a search party to search for Holly. A party of four set out for Rainbow Butterfly Wood, where she disappeared that day. But those four haven't come back yet either. I was sure I'd pick the most able-bodied of our tribe, but they turned out to be a bunch of goofs. So basically, at this point in time, I'm afraid we can't help you two out. You want us to use our special powers to help you, but the thing is, all seven of us have to be here in order for it to work. Besides, we're really not in a helping mood, I'm pretty sure you understand. That's quite a story. Mm. I have a proposition to... I bet I can guess. You want us to go into the woods and find your four friends, right? You mean you'll help us? Could you also keep an eye out for Ollie? Each day without her brings us nothing but gloom. I understand. Four or five, what's the difference? So what does this Holly look like anyway? Any special features? Special features, let me see. Must well, there are a few stuff. special features, but uh, we'll find out what those are later. Um, uh, her hair. It was long. No, wait! Wow, wait, you obviously didn't care much for her. The used to make were the greatest. That's right, they were mighty tasty. Yeah, incredible. Huh, <sighs> forget it. Potato pie? Oh, now we have another Max flashback. The story just goes on and on in this game. But I don't want to skip it because... The potato pies you... They were so warm, eating them... The most delicious potato I'm gonna like pie. just go quickly through this. I know the voice acting is more interesting than reading it yourself, but if you want to read what it says, it then feel free to pause the, the video and talk. read through it. I want to get to the end of this before to see the world, even though the too world long. Had been laid waste. Sorry if it's a bit too much or too fast, but. It's just beyond here. <laughs> Legend has it that in these woods, and anyone who lays eyes upon that butterfly. You know, I wonder if Holly and the search party we sent out went. Just be careful not to run into that ring. What do you mean, be careful? What could we possibly. If that happens. If that happens? Just, just pretend you never saw it. Huh? Well, whatever. Oh, take this with you, boy. What's this? It's the Fermit's favorite thing in the world. If you have this with you, those guys just might... Okay, I got Grape you. juice. Alright. I'm really sorry about cutting through the last bit there so quickly, but... The video is dragging on, and I don't want it to be like a massive upload that takes forever. So, next time, guys... We're going to go into the Rainbow Butterfly Wood, search for the Furbies, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.